Our reporting of local and worldwide mission tithes received around the world has improved. With the support of many, we have provided more information about the generosity of our members and friends around the world. We will continue to improve the quality and accuracy of reporting information from the many different areas of the worldwide church. So the church's mission ties trends indicate we are facing some challenging years ahead with the increasing age of our contributors and the declining contributor numbers. The decline is stark, especially when you consider that we may drop below 9,000 contributors in the USA and Canada by 2020. We can report the numbers, but the causes behind the numbers are a little bit more elusive. Undoubtedly, there are many factors causing this trend. Some we cannot control, but others we can control if we will work together. Four positive actions you can take to help change the trends are, one, invite people to be a part of the church's mission. Sometimes I feel like the church's mission is the best kept secret in the world. Please share it. <laughs> There's an apostle in all of us. <laughs> Two. Teach people how to practice whole life stewardship. Did I mention there's a new book called Choosing Generosity? <laughs> Teach others. Teach by example. Teach through sharing your stories. Three. Help people understand how to support the local mission, but also help them understand how they can contribute to the worldwide mission. And four, where available, use e-tithing or other pre-authorized platforms so your support of mission happens routinely, regardless of weather, vacations, or other times away from the worship experiences. Changing the trends in the charts will not be easy. To do so, we must faithfully listen to where the Holy Spirit is leading and then respond generously and faithfully.